both of them Dark play. Pit. What do you think, John? Dark Pit. This is a good choice. He probably knows that his uh, arrows aren't going to be helpful for those. Nice. Okay, so it's being chosen on purpose. Dark Pit's theme. Anyway, uh, this is actually a good choice because he probably knows that uh, normal Pit's arrows aren't going to be useful in, like, edge guarding or anything like that. Since, you know, Yoshi's got that beautiful super armor on double jump. Speaking so just of, like, he, why not take he, the arrows uh, to do more damage? He does not have his he, double jump. He's out. He's out. Uh, no punish, though. He had it covered for a good while there, but he didn't. He won't. He committed to ledge trapping when all that PC Ninja had left was his uh, was his air dodge. He could use the new ledge slip te technique that was just discovered to edge guard it. He could. He could. Spade. Wow, that was gonna. I was gonna say spacing, because it looked like Luminous was trying to like take a little bit of a walk back, then up tilt still hit. <laughs> Ninja misses right. out on two really opportune kill attempts right there. And just gets it raw instead of any setups. That's funny, he had like three situations where he tried setting it up and it didn't work, then he just threw it into the open space and it worked. Sometimes you have to Good hit job. your buttons preemptively. So you don't want to. You don't want to get hit by. Edge. You don't get hit by any like empty jump grabs or anything like that. So you just see them close to you and you swing. Like that. <laughs> He's too close. Die. It's curious that yeah, I've been finding out. Go ahead. Nothing. Oh. Okay. Uh, I'm just curious that, uh, as to why Luminous has been so adamant on counterpicking, or on just picking and counterpicking and banning to Battlefield all the time. I never usually associate this as like an incredible pit stage, just a really neutral stage as it is just Battlefield. Yeah. Oh. Somehow Pit feels like the kind of character that just doesn't really care about the stage. I feel like he kind of performs about the same on every stage, considering he's such a uh, jack of all trades kind of character. Yep. A generalist in the world of specialists. Yeah, Pitch is really like the one character who, who's got it all. Just nothing amazing. Except recovery. His recovery is amazing. Oh yeah, he's he's got. Like, it, it is really good in in distance, but then in you know he doesn't actually have a hitbox on it. It's very susceptible. The uppy exclusively though. The multiple jumps have made it make it plenty available for coverage. PC Ninja's just like running around, okay, putting out these buttons. Oh, there he you died. go. Okay. Brand spank a new up air comes into play. No kill sparks. He's swinging. Look at him. Look at him just YOLO these moves out. <laughs> I mean, that's kind of the Yoshi way. You're right. You gotta, get, you gotta swing because. Yoshi is a character full of, like, just barely unsafe buttons, so he should just swing like a maniac. You gotta be the one who knows the timing and his movements if you want to get your punish, otherwise he's just gonna swing. Oh, no jump. And no punish. <laughs> I, so the fun, the fun thing about Yoshi's double jump, right, is that it doesn't, he cannot grab a ledge with it catches the D.I.N. while he's in his double jump animation, which goes for right, exceedingly that's, long. Right, that's something for every double jump in the game. Yes, but it's most noticeable with Yoshi because of, again, no jump. He had yeah. to jump right past Ledge. There was no no other option. Thus, yeah, it's not something that a lot of people can... Well, like it, thus? It, oh, thus, it's part of the way you punish it, especially with a disjoint and pretty solid low hitting moves uh, like that uh, that pit and dark pit have if you see yoshi being forced to air dodge the ledge or just without his jump I, like down smash right there and he does it a little bit too late down smash there pretty much covers that exceedingly well yeah, i mean that's it. usually why you'll see yoshi's using air dodge and egg in order to cut it short not being forced to wow any lips instead of being forced to double jump He's trying it. <laughs> He's trying to get that. Uh, 
Yeah, I'm like, he shot that arrow, and I saw Ninja just running off the stage. He knew the arrow was coming. He's like, let me get that punish. Oh. Hefty boy. Heavy yeah, Yoshi. let me see that. Let me see this again. He gets the hit, and I don't know if he knew that he was going to get under the arrow or not, but he just... He just booked it, and I think he reacted to the fact that Narrow is shot. He's like, oh, he's in lag. Let me just punish him. Yeah, it's a pretty safe edge guard to go for, like, regardless of percentage. It's, you know, raw as hell up there. Like, just run off double jump Nair. Like, it lingers forever. It's safe. It, you have your double jump armor at the start. Like, everything about that is pretty bread and butter. So it seemed like a, just a reaction to the arrow. You look tough, Luminous says. Let's see counterfix to FD. No jump. No stock. <laughs> Keeping track of Yoshi's double jump is not only important for Yoshi, but also important for if you're playing against Yoshi. And with character, character with solid multi hits and just pretty good coverage overall, like Pit, he can cover that ledge and all of the, all of the air dodge and egg tricks pretty well, even if he's just clanging with the eggs. PC Ninja challenges. Okay, he's probably gonna come on ooh, with a roll that time. That's the mix-up, I guess. I'm not mashing. <laughs> You're mashing. Oh my god. That was such a weird interaction. He was not ready to tech that. And to be fair, who would be? Well, let's see if he's ready to... Ready to yeah, perish. I lost. Oh, that was good. Yeah. Yeah, ready to perish is a good word for it. <laughs> Let's see if he's ready to take back 150 plus on deficit. Nope. So there it is. That must be a true combo against heavies. Not even heavies. He was doing that on Pikachu. Well, that's true. I guess it's just a true combo now. Holy smokes. That's pretty good. Well, it does require him getting really close to you for it to work, but it is nice. Yeah, I mean, like, there's always a downside, and I guess the downside is, how are you landing pit up tilt? It's a good question. <laughs> uh, roll up tilt. Genius, truly. Roll in, up tilt. Snake does it, and it works. <laughs> You're not wrong. <laughs> he died? No, he didn't. He's gone. So something interesting I found about the uh, Guardian Orbitars, you know how they deploy them and they start to shrink? Yeah. Uh, their HP actually doesn't decrease as they're shrinking or anything like that. They stay at full health the whole time. Oh, so it's just purely how much they block that uh, that is reduced? Weird. Yeah. Very odd, to be sure. Yeah, I guess that's handy, because now you don't have to... Well, Shrinking in the shield isn't necessarily great. It's a, it's better than them losing HP and suddenly you have to. Yeah. Oh, I mean, it's not all bit. bad because even if you do break it, even if the arbiters are broken, they still block that hit for you. So even if they did lose HP over time, it wouldn't be the worst thing in the world. God, he's at 60. Oh yeah. PC Ninja's back in this. Oh, Yoshi damage. Say, PC, PC Chris. PC Chris is back in this. This up smash doesn't hit. I do like how uh, PC Ninja has been... Um, he's been altering his recovery out a bit more. Uh, going high back to ledge. Uh, using, air, using eggs from okay. over the ledge. But a nice tech chase. I need to see that in full motion. Nice try. Nice try. Thank thankfully, we can see Look at it this. in slow motion, Look. thanks to technology. Look at the range on this. Look at the range on this. Oh my god. Look at this. Hold on. Are you kidding me? <laughs> now hold, hold the phone.
Am I the only one who noticed this? Frame by frame, please. Uh, 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 uh. What was it? What hit him? Ooh. <laughs> oh. I mean, there's no way to know, but he might have pressed a button. <laughs> Look at this! He was in his tech animation. He was standing back up. The last... I mean, he might have been in ISA, though. But yeah, that's... Oh. Beautiful. Yoshi's, Yoshi's got a big old nose, man. <laughs> big nose, Yoshi. Game three. Is this best of five or three? This is top six, so it's best of five. Oh. Let's see how things play out this time around. A very exciting set, to be sure. And we get at least two more games of it. Absolutely. I'm surprised that we're even... Going back to PS2, I know every every Yoshi main that I've referred to has put PS2 is not just a good stage for Yoshi, because it's a good stage for pretty much every character, but is Yoshi's definitive best stage. I mean, the Yoshis might know that, but everyone else might not know that. Fair. You know, fair. Besides... Even if they do know, oh, this is the character's best stage. Like, no one really dislikes playing on PS2 and Small Battlefield. Dual pots are just that good. Like, you got a couple of dissenters, but for the most part, nah, dual plat all the way. Yeah, it's just when you're when you're luminous and you have picked, you ban to Battlefield and you pick FD as your main two stages. Or as your first two stages, and your stages that you've played on, presumably, all, all these other uh, matches. Then, like, why why let him go to a solid dual plat that you know that most other characters are pretty good on, when you can just ban him? And you can set up for a stage that is much more in your favor and in your comfort zone. There could be any number of reasons, but the easiest one being that PS2 is most people's comfort pick. Myself I included. Guess, like, I don't even think PS2 is all that good for Wii Fit, and I still pick it. I am just... It's reasonable. It's reasonable to think that it's just, you know, oh, good stage, it's fine, it's whatever. Like, it's pretty neutral. But if you're Luminous and you're not picking by flats just off the cuff, like, I'm... I'm more inclined to think that you're trying to you're trying to either just spice up what we're seeing and not just go to ps2 every time or you're intentionally not wanting to go to biflats purely not because you do bad on it but because your opponent might or yeah might do better on biflats alas we'll never know Zone it. Okay, he's just trying to keep him out with the. I this is a this has been a keep away game, pure and simple, with pits, disjoints, and arrows, and uh, Yoshi's sheer threat alone, but also his own massive hitboxes and the power of the roll read. Doesn't necessarily two for two, but PC Ninja has been on his game with a lot of those reads. Like trying to find tech ins and punish them super hard, though only one of them has worked out thus far. Back and forth, here we are again. Speaking, you know what, I don't what happens? Yoshi up to man. Oh, there are pent? Oh! Catches him with up air from all the way down there. Very nice. And wow, raw forward smash. I think he caught him with. I think he caught a whiff punish there. He had to. Because uh, sticking a limb out. Yeah, because yeah, Yoshi's a uh, Yoshi's forward air. I think. Okay, he threw out there with uh, Like you're not punishing that with S smash on block. Like you you have to hard whiff punish that. Snake. Luminous has been doing incredible at making up the percent differential. It's finding the kill that he's not been... It's trouble. So... It's trouble. Yeah. And there it is. No, not yet. Never mind. It's not enough. Guardian Orbitar is coming out. 
What happens now? Oh, down throw. DI is incorrectly. But nothing from PC Ninja. Oh, What's going on? Down. They're both being okay. quite aggressive right now. They want those kills. And down B. Oh. Ah. I'm just waiting, waiting for someone to. Like they're both a. He's just... PC Ninja playing around grab super well. He knows that Lumens is looking for that kill throw or that dash attack. I was about to say, did it? Ow. Oof. Isn't that just like the worst feeling when you get hit by only the last hit of a multi hit, but it kills you? That's the only hit he needs. No, it's so frustrating what happens. Like, yes, I avoided most of the multi hit, but I still died. Boop, boop. Oh man, he went over his head too. Ah, poor Pit or Dark Pit. He he crouched down for his dash attack and stood up a little bit too soon. <laughs> oh, imagine low profiling with dash attack. Hurtbox shifting is a thing that is a blessing and a curse for some. For some characters in some instances. That's nice. It's really neat how they have the they have all of the hit hurt boxes consistent with every with all of the animations. It's just so frustrating when you see like a normal sized character squat real low for no reason. I'm looking at you, we fit crouch. <laughs> Excuse you, we fit doesn't have any moves that naturally low profile. I say that, but then I'm a big liar because down tilt and down smash both do that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> or like you can look at like some other egregious examples, like I don't know, snake crouch into up tilt. Like he just low profiles your move, then kills you for it. Oh. So you know, while Yoshi's not, while Yoshi or Pit aren't big aggressors of of that trend, both of them be squishy sometimes. Does Yoshi oh even have bones? Oh, but he's alive. He's. I can't believe he lived from that. Especially with the the meteor blast zones getting smaller. It's got the distance though. He has the speed, but he's he's also got the damage right now. Chuck him off the stage. Oh, wrong parry. Mo Yoshi again. Again. It's such a... Oh, okay. <laughs> you got a lot of mileage of those arrows. <laughs> God, they've both been getting so aggressive on its killing time. It's kind of wild. It's just like I gotta hit these kills. Yes, just hit those kill moves. So much of the pacing of this entire set has been dictated right at stock one. All right, but Luminous is not willing to back down from the challenge that is PC Ninja, though. He's taken that stock immediately, and thus we're in back at even. As long as, as long as Yoshi is as heavy as he is, you, he can't get complacent with just getting a decent lead. Because Yoshi will live much longer than Pit usually can and out damage him. No jump still. Well, the better way of putting it is that a heavy character can usually lean on a stock lead, but not so much a percentage lead. Yeah, that's. I feel like that's another way. That, well, that is another way to say it. Because until you actually take that stock as the heavy. Your percent lead doesn't really mean a difference. Nah, especially with the out damage output that not only even like just heavies have in this game. Like, stock leads aren't as stable in this game by far, unless you play specifically like Sonic and are just trying to time people out. Then percent leads can start to matter. I always find find it fun when eggs or items or projectiles of awkward uh, angles uh, get reflected. 
because the angle gets reversed. Oh, Sonic? <laughs> Not just... And then they just go flying so, everywhere. Like, they zoom away. <laughs> well, you've got some fun examples like Pac-Man's Bell, Heroes Whack. Just <laughs> doing whatever they feel like doing. Where are they going? Where are you get back here? Hunting for these up bears. Still has his jump. Did he? Thought he did. This is Luminous looking for Luminous is covering his own his own aggression so well. And there it is. Kind of catching Very that nice. jump. He knew he could make Yoshi jump as Yoshi tends to do that and Stuffing it out with up smash is a not only effective option, but one that one that would eventually net him the kill. I like how he was he adjusted the use of that move entirely, not going from using it as more of an out of shield punish to baiting out jumps with it inst or punishing jumps with it instead. What is this song? Butter building. Hmm. It's a uh, the Butter Building Brawl remix. It's really good. It's quite a good remix. It's kind of a bop. Yeah. Just <laughs> really pump that volume. <laughs> Don't give him ideas. He'll do it. Oh, I know. Okay. Stuttering it, that's fun. <laughs> so guys, tomorrow Smash is going to be receiving despair. Oh, well, we're going to be is happening? Uh, uh we well, don't... Sakurai's presentation is tomorrow. Three, At the two, time. one AM? Yeah, PM Eastern. Well, he might just he, he might just Oh yeah, a five Eastern. Sick. And he might just be like, Alright, here's what Sephiroth does. Now go buy him on the eShop right now. He's available. He's available right now. Like with Banjo. I think that was with Banjo, right? Like like with Among Us. He's done that so many We're times. <laughs> anyway. See you. Available after this stream. So you guys have to come Game to five. What? Zeno first. And Game 5. Luminous picks up another another second hit forward smash with punish. Holy smokes. He just read PC Ninja sticking something out and hit him. It has some like whip punishing real isn't really. Go ahead. Whip punishing isn't really a concept you see too often in Smash compared to like traditional 2D fighting games. You know, because everyone's just got really like, really long limbs and their mobility is kind of like stunted. In Smash, it doesn't come out too often, but when it does, oh, it feels like two. It always looks like a 2000 IQ play. I swear. Yeah, making. Making a player's whiff in a game without like many means of micro movement is a little bit harder. Like wave dashing and things of uh, perfect pivoting. Their means to slightly get out of the way but still be in punish range. And, and Yoshi has always been one up. of. Oh yeah. But Yoshi's only been one of those characters that it's much more. You'll be have much more success continuously trying to whiff punish Yoshi than you'll ever will trying to punish him like out of shield or just beat beat it out in some of his moves. Like that's just inconsistent at best. But if you have a disjoint like Pit does and the means to cover and the means to coverage that Luminous has been showing, then whiff punishing can is always gonna be the right way to play against Yoshi. Good fastball. It's such a little thing. But he made sure he got right out of that fair range before while he sharked. PC Ninja makes a comeback on this. It's gonna be miraculous. It'll be it'll be something. But Luminous looks like he was playing too strong. Wow! Oh, picks up a three stock. That's insane. From just the way game two went, 
Like you could feel something had clicked in Luminous's head. And when he's maybe he snaps Jesus Christ. Look at the tricks he pulls here. No, you can't punish oh, me. Oh, this movement. Oh, he had Edge enough time for that. Very nice. I wasn't sure if he had enough time for that or if PC Ninja swung. Yeah, I want to see this again. I want to see this uh, whip punish. Look at this. Look at this. He whiffed. He's just like, oh, stick your head into that. Beautiful. He, he whiffed and he was punished. Pit, pits has got both pits have like just really good smash attacks across the board. Like they're not, they're not moves that you're oh, really yeah, gonna they're write. Great. They're not moves you're gonna write home about. Like they're not like Game and Watch down smash or up smash where they're just like absurdly safe. You could just throw them out. But all of they're them. Some of the best smashes in the game, honestly. All.